Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at the Grill, we're making some delicious grilled Cajun style shrimp and sausage skiers that are absolutely delicious. Now, than that, let's get into the cook. As I said, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I appreciate you being here. Today at the Grill, we're making up some delicious grilled shrimp and sausages that are gonna go great for your next feast night, date night, or just when you're trying to impress that special someone. And so there's not much to do to prepare these. We have our uh, large shrimp, we got some andouille sausage, as well as some garlic and our Cajun seasoning. And so when choosing your shrimp, you wanna make sure you grab the larger ones. It's it really as big as you can find. And these ones have the shell on it still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thumbs and just just wedge them in there and peel off that outer shell. So just look at this. You can see that it has some nice color on it. The meat is nice and translucent as well as our vein has been uh, already removed. And so that means we don't have to take that extra step and remove that vein. If you do have that vein, just go ahead and slice on top of that and that vein will come out quite nicely. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, shelling our shrimp and then we'll come back uh, when these are done. After only a few minutes, our shrimp has been peeled as well as deveined. And like I said, uh, these shrimp were deveined for me uh, when I purchased them. And so if you have to devein them, uh, just go ahead and take that extra little step because it will be beneficial for you. And so with these prepared, uh, let's go ahead and start making our marinade. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of my shrimp and place it in a zip top bag. And this is gonna be the container for our marinade. And so to start with this, I'm gonna grab uh, some olive oil. I'm gonna place in about a couple tablespoons of olive oil into this bag. And then to that, I'm gonna add in about three uh, cloves of garlic. And so I'm just gonna mince these up. There we go, place that into our bag as well. And then today we're going to be using this outrageous Cajun seasoning from my buddy over at Reed's Barbecue. And this Cajun seasoning uh, goes really nice on these shrimp. And so I'm going to place in about a tablespoon, uh, maybe a little bit more than that of this uh, Cajun seasoning. There we go. We'll just uh, toss that around in our bag. There we go. And I'm going to add in just a little bit more as well as a little bit more of my olive oil. I'm going to close up this bag. And I'm just gonna mix it around one more time. And there we go. So with our shrimp now just sitting and marinating in that seasoning, I'm gonna go ahead and place this into the fridge and we'll let it marinate in there for about two hours time. So to set up our grill today, I filled up a chimney basket full of unlit briquettes and then I got them fully lit. Once those coals are lit, I then dumped them into the Sloan Sear basket and then I closed the lid and then I let the Sloan Sear kettle come up to temperature. So with our grill all set up as well as our shrimp all marinated for about two hours, let's go ahead and finish preparing this dish. And so what I have here is uh, about half a cup of butter and this is unsalted butter. I also have uh, two cloves of minced garlic and I've minced this down almost to a fine paste. And then lastly, I'm going to hit it with, again, some of this Reed's Cajun seasoning. And this is just going to help reinforce some of those flavors that are in uh, this shrimp. All right, there we go. So this is going to be a Cajun butter finishing sauce that we're going to put on at the very end. And so let's go ahead and get this onto the grill. Just going to place that on the side, close that back up. And while that butter and that garlic and seasoning is melting down, let's go ahead and finish off preparing uh, these shrimp skewers. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, my sausage. And today I'm using some garlic sausage. This is what I'm choosing. Go ahead and use your favorite type of sausage. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these about the same thickness as these shrimp. So I'm going to cut this off. We'll save that for me later. And then again, just slice these. And I'm going about a half an inch with these guys. There we go. I'm going to move this off to the side and let's pull out our shrimp from the bag now. Guys, this marinated shrimp smells absolutely wonderful. And so let's get them onto our skewers. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to place the skewer uh, through the head portion of the shrimp. And then I'm going to grab my sausage and place that again through. I'm going to grab the tail. I'm going to place that through the tail just like that. 
add our sausage. All right, just look at that. We have our shrimp and our sausage all together on that skewer. And so I'm gonna go ahead and finish making up the rest of these. Our skewers are all put together, so let's go ahead and just check up on our butter sauce. This looks really nice. Uh, it's all nice and melted, so I'm just gonna move it off to the side. So we have a little bit of extra room to cook these skewers. And so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna just uh, take this lemon and I'm gonna cut it in half and place it directly over those coals just to help develop some of those flavors and also provide another option uh, when it comes time to eating this shrimp. All right, this has some nice color on it. So I'm gonna move this off to the side as well. With everything else all done, it's now time to grill off our shrimp and sausage. And so I'm gonna put this onto the grill directly over those coals for about two minutes on each side. There we go. And then I'm gonna take some of that butter that we made. I'm just gonna brush that onto uh, this shrimp. Oh, this looks so good. So with our shrimp all done, I'm gonna pull it off the grill and then we'll get ready for the taste test. So these shrimp and sausage skewers cook for only about four minutes over direct coals. The color is amazing and it even has an extra little bit of char on it to add to that flavor profile of that grilled shrimp. And so I'm gonna take uh, one of these off of these skewers. There we go, I'm gonna take my lemon and I'm just gonna squeeze that over top. All right, with that lemon on there, I'm gonna also dip it into that uh, Cajun butter. All right, this looks amazing. Let's go for the taste test. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. Mm-hmm. 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 You know, this is absolutely an incredible dish. The way that the Cajun and that shrimp and saucers come together so nicely, you add in that delicious Cajun butter as well as that grilled lemon on top of that, it is absolutely wonderful. This is one of those dishes that will make a great appetizer or impress whoever it is uh, that you're serving to because it is that good. I'm gonna go for another taste because I can't get enough of this. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Mmm. -hmm. So that's how you make those delicious Cajun shrimp skewers for your next feast. I know you're gonna love them. Until next time, keep that fire lit and get cooking. Hey, welcome back to Pulse Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at the grill, I want to show you my go-to recipe for chicken tacos that the whole family's gonna love. Now than that, let's get into the cook. 
As I said, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I appreciate you being here. Today at the grill, we're gonna be making some delicious chicken tacos using the flat top griddle. And these tacos are absolutely wonderful and have become a family favorite over at our house. And they are the perfect balance of sweet, spicy, and sour all coming together, uh, topped on that nice corn tortilla. And this recipe doesn't take a lot of time. It's got incredible flavor and it's something that you can do really any day of the week. And so to get started, I'm gonna be using some chicken thighs. And I like to use chicken thighs because they're a little bit more fatty, which means a little bit more moisture and flavor that you get out of that chicken. But whatever you use, uh, it doesn't really matter. Just use what you prefer. If it's breast, uh, thigh, it doesn't really matter. And so to get started with this recipe, I'm gonna start by uh, cubing up these chicken thighs. And so I'm looking for sort of bite-sized pieces. You can see uh, that these pieces are about that big, and this is the perfect uh, size, in my opinion, for uh, chicken tacos. And so I'm just gonna continue uh, cutting up the rest of these chicken thighs, and then we'll get back to the marinade. All right, there we go. And so with my chicken all cut up, it's now time to get it into a marinade. And so I have a Ziploc bag that I'm gonna be using today for this. And I'm gonna throw in all of my pieces of chicken into this bag. There we go. And then to that, I'm gonna add in a little bit of uh, oil. And then after the oil, I'm gonna add in my barbecue rub. And so today I'm gonna to be using my chicken rub. This stuff goes really great on chicken, especially when you're pairing it with some lime and some of those citrus notes. And so I'm gonna just uh, dump in a bunch of this uh, to our seasoning. And I'm probably using about a tablespoon and a half of seasoning in this mix. And then lastly, I'm gonna grab uh, one uh, lime and I'm just gonna cut that in half. And then I'm gonna squeeze this into our chicken. I'll just leave that in there as well. Do the same to the other side. There we go. Again, I'll throw that in there. And then I'm just going to close up our bag and I'm going to mix all of this chicken uh, together with the seasoning and that lime juice. And this is going to uh, sit in the refrigerator for about two hours time and uh, allow that chicken to absorb uh, all of those great flavors. So I'm just gonna remove my gloves and push this off to the front uh, while we begin to make our spicy lime crema. And this is really simple to do. Uh, what I have is about a third of a cup of mayonnaise. I'm gonna add that to our bowl. And then I have another third of a cup of sour cream. To that, I'm gonna add in another lime. And so I'm just gonna slice this in half and then squeeze this in there. And this lime is gonna add a lot of great flavor, uh, which is gonna go on top of our tacos today. Next, I wanna add in a little bit of spice. And so I'm gonna be using some El Yucateco hot sauce today. And so I'm gonna add in a little bit of this. Uh, go ahead and add in as much or as little as you prefer. If you want more spicy, add in a little bit more. Less spicy, again, add a little bit less. And uh, then lastly, I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt to this. And then I'm gonna give it a stir. There we go. So let's let me give this a taste to see if it's missing anything. Yeah, it's gonna need a little bit more lime. So we're gonna add in another half of a lime. Mix that back around. There we go. Okay, I'll give it one last taste. That's perfect. You get that spice, you get that citrus from the lime and the creaminess from the mayo and the sour cream. This is perfect. This is gonna go great on top of those tacos. And so just like that, our chicken as well as our spicy lime mayo are all done. And so I'm gonna place them into the fridge, like I said, for a couple hours to allow those flavors to really blend together. And after that two hour mark, I'm gonna pull it out and we'll fire up our flat top. 
So my chicken has been sitting in the refrigerator for a couple hours, just soaking in all of those great flavors. And in the meantime, I did go ahead and preheat my flat top grill using a two zone cooking. On the left side, we have our hot zone. And on the right, I do have a cool zone, which I can transfer the chicken to after it's cooked. And so with everything ready, I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of oil to our flat top. And then I'm gonna dump my chicken onto the, the grill. Gonna move this all around. There we go. And so today I have set up my griddle for cooking around 400 degrees, which is sort of an ideal temperature for cooking most foods on the flat top. And so we're just gonna let this continue to cook. I'm gonna toss it around a little bit uh, to get some nice browning on all sides. So after only a few minutes, this chicken is all cooked. And so I'm gonna move it off into the keep warm section. And then I'm gonna throw on a couple uh, corn tortillas to warm them up and to kind of toast them a little bit. All right, there we go. And so these are only gonna take a few seconds on each side. So make sure you don't walk away uh, when you're doing your tortillas. So I'm gonna remove these from our griddle and we'll start to build our tacos. So for me, I usually love three tacos. So this is how I generally set them up on my plate. And so to get started, I'm gonna lay down uh, some cabbage. And again, you put in whatever you like if in your tacos. Uh, for me, I like a little bit of cabbage, uh, just as that base layer. It adds a little bit of crunch uh, and just sort of uh, stretches those tacos a little bit further. Next, I'm gonna grab some of my chicken. I'm gonna place that into our tacos. Oh, this smells so good already. Next, I'm gonna grab some homemade uh, pickled red onions. These go incredibly well on tacos. Place some of those on top. And then on top of my pickled onions, I'm gonna take my spicy lime crema and I'm gonna uh, drizzle this over top of all of those tacos. Oh, this is gonna be so good. And then lastly, I'm gonna take uh, some fresh chopped cilantro and sprinkle that on top. There we go. And just like that, the spicy lime chicken tacos are all done and I can't wait for the taste test. So in only a little bit of time, our chicken tacos are all done. You can eat them as they are right now. For me, I love to add on a little bit of extra uh, freshly squeezed lime onto them, as well as some El Yucateco hot sauce. Uh, this stuff goes great on tacos. And so make sure to add on your favorite hot sauce uh, to your tacos because it's just gonna add so much extra flavor. And so with everything done, I'm gonna go for the taste test and just see how they are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, as I said, these are some of my favorite tacos. They're so good, they're simple to make. They have a little bit of that sweetness from the barbecue rub that we used, and then the spiciness from the various hot sauces that we used within the sauce, as well as topping these tacos with. And then the brightness from that lime just shines through along with those pickled onions. This is one way to make tacos that you wanna try out for sure. They're simple, they're easy, they're phenomenal. You need to give them a try for sure. So 
So that's how you make those delicious chicken tacos for your next feast. You're going to love them for sure. Until next time, keep that fire lit and get cooking.